I am now joined by Bellator welterweight Jaleel Willis, who faces Sabah Omasi at Bellator 273 next Saturday. Jaleel, how are you? Very good, brother. How are you? I'm doing great. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Always have Friday. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, big matchup for you coming up against Omasi next weekend. How's camp going so far? And uh, what are your thoughts on the matchup? Mine, uh, count, you know, went smooth. You know what I mean? Well, not smooth, but fucking... We banged it out and we got through it and we got it to the point to where we feel like we gonna control this matchup 100%. So like we called for this matchup and I'm happy Bellator like allowed me to get it. You know what I mean? Cause like I said, I'm trying to bounce back. I'm trying to bounce back in a big way, you know? So and I know bruh, he uh really more so like somebody who I've been watching for years. So, you know what I mean? I know how to control their mind and control uh, what it is he's trying to come with. You know what I mean? Like, he coming through to try to knock you out. And, and I, by the way, I'm saying, oh, my God, it's either he knock you out or you get knocked out or you get broken, like, early on within a fight. And it's like, you know, it's like, man, so many hoes, so many hoes right to where I'm like, once I get inside there and I show them what's going on, I'm confident that that's going to keep me up inside these, you know, competitive matchups. You know what I mean? It's like keep me going with these dudes, like these big names and shit like that. Cause I ain't trying to fall back on the prelims. Absolutely. And uh, you've mentioned in other interviews that uh, Omasi is a guy you've had your eye on for a while. What impresses you most about his overall game and his approach in the cage? Mine, uh, uh, 100%. The way he is in there to kill, mm -hmm. kill or be killed. You know what I mean? I respect that. I respect anybody who can go inside there and hit on some shit like that. Stay in kill mode. Stay hungry for years and years. So I'm saying like, man, I've been a hungry motherfucker for years and shit. I just ain't been on the same spotlight as him. You know what I mean? I just ain't at the fat ass gym like him, but. You know, I'm at Memphis Judo, man. We here in Memphis, and we got a lot of great competitors. You know what I mean? It's like me being one of them. So I'm trying to bounce back, and I'm also trying to show these folks, like, you know, Memphis is, like, fucking hidden. You know what I mean? It's like it's a reason we here in Memphis training and we ain't hitting up, you know, all these other super gyms and shit, you know, but uh, – my deal is, I'm like, bro, I'm just trying to fight, bro. I'm trying to fight, I'm trying to go out there, rack up, fucking stack my way all the way up to the fucking top so I can be fighting. I'm a soft, something like that. Absolutely. And uh, where do you feel like a win puts you in the welterweight division? I mean, I feel like a win will probably get me at, um, you know, man, I don't really like the, like, kind of guess matchups, but... Mm -hmm. My deal is I, I think like might not be able to be hitting on fucking a dude like Logan Sterling or something like that. You know what I mean? It's like to show them, you know, like that's what I think. You know, I don't think it'll pop me like up, up, like some shit like that to where I'll be fighting for a title or something. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you mentioned a little bit about your team, Memphis Judo. Tell us a little bit about the team and uh, what it's like down there. Mine not. Uh, Cold right now. It's like, it's like we cold as hell. But, you know, man, we got a lot of youngest coming up, man. And it's like I'm noticing that these dudes are athletes, you know, they, they dudes who was hooping, you know what I mean, in high school, some like and they not going to college, they popping right out and fucking, you know, top athletes from wrestling and shit like that. Like a lot of us, what people don't know is like here in Memphis, a lot of us don't really go to wrestling colleges and shit like that because we just don't have the opportunities, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. a lot of, it's a lot of talent, you know, a lot of hot wrestlers that people don't know about the same way as like, you know, your local hooper, you know what I mean? You can throw a rock and find somebody who can play in the NBA out here, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you've mentioned how your last fight, you learned a lot from it in terms of where you're at and your development. Was it a bit of a learning experience to give you the chance to know what you have to work on and just the details? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, um, we more so 
when we go back and watch that film, we watch it a lot. So I, and my coaches, we go down and look at the fact of like, you know, how we like put our foot on the gas and we was more so like in a panic mode, all of us, the coach, you know, coaches included, we was all like in a panic mode of like, let's finish, let's win. And, you know, that's not us. That's not us at all. You know, we know how to fight for 15 minutes. We know how to fucking control a fucking octagon, fucking cage, you know. So that's like what we're doing now. That's what we focus on, like relaxing, fucking controlling rounds, setting goals, you know what I mean? Setting goals for each round of shit. So that's, that's what we're going for now. Absolutely. And uh, last question for me, what can fans expect from your fight? And uh, what's the key to getting the victory? My honestly, bro, the key to this fucking victory with this mind is the uh, keep this mind in the fight. Because the longer I keep him in the fight, the more the fucking media just gonna fucking level down. You know what I mean? And that's where I start to fucking shine and start to grind him out. Just like, you know, until he starts fucking just kind of look for a way out. Absolutely. Well, before we go, I'll give you the final word to uh, shout out any sponsors you have. Let the fans know where they can find you on social media, too. Man, they can uh, find me at everything. Uh, J. Willis MMA. You know, I think a 20, Twitter is Jaleel Willis 1. All right. Well, Jaleel, thanks again for your time. Really do appreciate it. Best, uh, best of luck next weekend. And uh, I'm sure we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, brother.